Ukraine said it had launched a long-awaited offensive to retake the Russian-held south. Ukraine announced a military offensive Monday in areas across its south, signaling the launch of a long-awaited push to retake Russian-held territory. Today, we started offensive action in different direction. Natalia Humenyuk, a spokesperson for the Southern Military Command, told Ukraine's public broadcaster Saplins. The apparent starts of the major counteroffensive comes after weeks of buildup and nearly six months since Russian forces seized swaths of territory in southern Ukraine in the early days of the war. Kiev has long vowed to retake that land and has displayed grown confident in the recent week increasingly taking an initiative in a conflict that Kremlin itself has admitted was dull. Military observers have been anticipating a counterattack on the ground in the south as Ukraine seemingly targeted Russian military sites, as well as key bridges, with strike deep behind defensive line there and in nearby Crimea, which Moscow answered in 2014. The front line in the south are centered on Kyrgyzstan, a region Russian sees in its entire in March. A strategic gateway to the Black Sea and Crimea, it has been critical in cementing Moscow grabs on the area. The extent of the Ukrainian offensive and any gains made were unclear as social media buzzed with unconfirmed reports. Hugh Minyuk expressed cautions and call for patient, noting that the Russian military was still strong and had been reinforcing its position in the area. We do not declare the beginning of the offensive or the end of the offensive, she said in a clarifying comment by phone. But under the pressure of our actions, the enemy began to retreat. It is currently recorded that the enemy has withdrawn from some of its position. NBC News has not verified the claim. Early reports are that Ukrainian forces have broken through the first set of Russian defense in place around Kyrgyzstan, said Neil Nelvin, the director of international security study at the Royal United Service Institute, a London-based think tank. These were likely defended by some of the weaker Russian forces, notably from the occupied eastern areas of Ukraine and the real test of Ukraine's ability to turn back the Russian forces is still likely to lie ahead, he said. Regarding the current operation, White House spokesman John Kirby said, there have been efforts throughout the six months of this war where Ukraine has gone on the offense. This is a major offensive effort, but the idea of being on the offense is not new to Ukrainians. He decided to comment on future Ukrainian operation. Russian media also reported Ukrainian strikes on the occupied town of Nova Kakovka and Borislav near the city of Kyrgyzstan's overnight. Meanwhile, the governor of the nearby Mykolaiv regions, Vitaly Kim, said at least two people were killed and 11 injured in what he described were heavy Russian strikes on the city of Mykolaiv, which is under Ukraine's control. It came amid ongoing fear of a nuclear catastrophic in the Russian-occupied Zakopizia nuclear plants, also in Ukraine's south, as the international team of nuclear experts finally set out Monday to inspect the sites. Kiev and Moscow accuse each other of continuing to strike the plant despite the risk of radiation disaster. Without a clear picture of what exactly transpired on the battlefield in the south, some military experts were reserved in their analysts. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.